This is what happens when a vehicle goes up against a 6 kilogram landmine. IEDs are one of the most devastating threats military personnel face in conflict zones. But this frame has been reinforced with a special plate to help a vehicle withstand a blast, potentially saving lives. Its inventor Roger Sloman is testing a strength and belly plate to sit under a Toyota Hilux, like the ones used by special forces. The objective is to save injuries completely and um, you know, to do that you've not only got to stop the belly plate deforming, stop it failing and reduce the jump height, you've got to probably have an active floor in there as well so that the, uh, the floor gets pulled down from the occupant's feet. If the occupant's feet are on the floor, they'll get, get broken at ankles or legs when the mine goes off. So you normally, in an armoured vehicle, your feet are not on the floor, they're in straps attached to the seat or a vest attached to the seat. He's trying out two concepts. The first test doesn't go well. So we haven't actually seen it yet, but what we've heard is the vehicle did travel a bit further than they were hoping. The explosion caused a lot of debris to come up and there is apparently quite a well. Not exactly what they were hoping for, but let's go gauge their reaction. Still in one piece. We weren't sure if the lower plate would fail, um, and it has failed across the centre. Um, we suspect that the, the plate behind it, the top plate, it's, it's, it's cracked further along, but it's probably okay in the middle. We'll have to wait to see when we get it out. But um, it's deformed more than we hoped it would. Uh, it's done more damage to the rig than we hoped it would. So it's, um, yeah. And it went a long way in the air, which is not good news particularly. So, um, yeah, it's, at least it hasn't, at least the blast hasn't actually penetrated all the way through, as far as we can tell. Um, but it's done more damage than we would want it to do. From the blast, from the first test, the frame lifted off the ground for approximately six seconds. The fall alone from roughly 10 metres would have critically injured passengers inside. And as you can see from this footage, the blast took the frame well out of shot of our cameras. Previously, we've had the belly plate completely fail um, and the blast go through. Uh, this hasn't happened in this case. so. It's better than the last one we did, but that's, uh, it's still not really good enough for what we wanted. It, this would not have been survivable. Um, well, people may have survived, but they would have had severely injured spines. Luckily, Roger has another trick up his sleeve. The second belly plate is slightly different. Exactly how is confidential at this stage. We're all off. Right, round two now, and this is the second belly plate to be tested today. It's on a slightly smaller charge of four kilos, which are underneath here, as opposed to the six that was there before. So all that's left now is to see what happens. What do you think this time round? I don't know. We'll see what it looks like. That's the main thing. No, we don't know until we get it off. We can't see. We can't see enough. It hasn't failed, so that's the main thing. Yeah, the initial reaction is that's quite encouraging because uh, the deformation is a lot less, it hasn't failed and it looks like the special ingredients we had in that one seems to have had a benefit. So that's encouraging and uh, that would be satisfactory to put under a Toyota Land Cruiser which is the object of the exercise. Despite reducing the charge from 6 kg to 4, a mine on that scale can still cause a lot of damage.
because IEDs are made out of all sorts of things and, and uh, that's sort of designed for a purpose and if four kilos will take an unprotected vehicle out, which it will, uh, then that's what you would use. So, so yes, a six kilo is an anti-tank mine, but four kilos is still a significant charge, yes. So it's back to the drawing board for the team as development work continues. It, it can all be done. Uh, I mean, we've done a 12 kilo test on a belly plate uh, with a standoff of only a foot. Uh, with a flat belly plate and, and that just had an 85 mil dent in it so it, it's how heavy and strong and stiff you make the belly plate um, but it's whether that is practical for the vehicle design in question so it can be done you you can design a belly plate to take almost anything you can take 100 kilos but uh, obviously it's going to be very heavy and it'll have a v and it'll be very thick uh, and uh, you can design for anything the job height looks like about five or six metres. With talks ongoing with international armies as well as special forces, the team hopes their idea could save the lives of many service personnel in years to come. Kersey Chambers, Forces News, Sky Dock in Lincolnshire. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.